Today is gonna be a semi-typical day in my life as an autistic woman. I say semi-typical because it is like the usual stuff that I get up to. I'm currently getting ready to go to the gym, but it is a weekday, so Jack is coming with me and Jack is also off. And because Jack is off, it might mean that I do something a little bit different in the afternoon, but it's not gonna be hugely different because I do need to do some work. But like I say, I'm just getting ready for the gym. Oh, and also in terms of like the semi-typical, I am knackered. I have had not a busy week, but I've had like a, like a, like a tiring week. I basically, I met someone new on Wednesday, which was awesome. It went really, really well, which was lovely. She's lovely. So that was not tiring because like the meeting was tiring, but just tiring because it was socializing. And that is something in autism that is hard or just tiring and then the day after that i went and got my hair done at a new salon so i normally go to junkyard in town and to this time i went to a place in morpeth because there's someone in morpeth who does bright hair now which is delightful and it means i don't have to spend 25 quid on parking when i go into town i love tom i know i've talked about tom my hairdresser quite a bit on this channel so just for subscribers still love tom it's not a beef with tom it's just finances unfortunately but she's done a great job like You'll see it better today. Obviously, it's just still shoved up from when I was asleep. But I had that on Thursday, which was hard because it was a new place and a new person because I don't know her. And I was worried about my hair not going right. And then it also didn't go wrong, but we just like the color that we thought we needed to use didn't work so i was in there for quite a long time and i had my hair washed quite a lot which is fine like this isn't me being like she hurt my head like it wasn't that it's just it was a lot of sensory stuff for a big part of the day so it was just a lot so i'm knackered so i'm not entirely sure how today's gonna go i didn't know if i felt good enough to go to the gym to be completely honest because i was just sitting there and i was like do i do this but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a typical day in the life. So without further ado, let's get to the gym. What are you training today? Lower. I'm training upper, uh, which I'm very, I'm very, very pleased with. I went to the gym yesterday. Oh, we're moving. Damn. Oh. Ugh, Jack's drinking Red Bull because it's. You checked it, didn't you? Yeah. Jack, it's like the only energy drink that isn't on the um, boycott. Yeah. Boycott. Because Monster's owned by Coca-Cola and Rain's, Rain's owned by Coca-Cola, so so he's drinking Red Bull and he smells like a 14-year-old boy. I am having my caffeine tablet because I need the caffeine. I'm getting used to the taste though. Have you? Yeah. Does it not taste like corner shops? A little bit, but I'm getting used to it. <laughs> like being like 12 and getting the corner. I yeah. think Red Bull tastes exactly the same as the like 17 pence energy drinks. What, like a bolt and stuff like Bolt, that. yeah. Was it, what was the one that? Spark. Was it Spark? I it's can't remember. The, <laughs> went on a journey. But I take caffeine tablets for the gym because caffeine is like good for the gym. And I can't, do, I can't do an energy drink for the gym because it just sits on my tummy and it just feels horrific. So I've had my caffeine tablet, Jack's having Red Bull. I'm training up better day because yesterday, well, not because, but yesterday, because I have been feeling tired like since Wednesday, Thursday. And when I went to the gym yesterday, it was purely because I was, I think it was just because I was so tired and because I had such a bad head. So that was lower, which was just typical. So I've got the lovely training of upper today. There 
was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I do some work now i have put the heater on because even though it is getting warmer and spring is finally here our house is just freezing all the time still but obviously i know like uk houses are built to keep heat in but ours just feels like it doesn't let any heat in honestly it's freezing so i've got the heater on jack is gonna go out and do some gardening chores like he needs to go buy some more soil so he can start planting today so he's going off and doing that and me and little boy are just gonna sit and I'm gonna do some work. If you are new, I obviously do YouTube, I also do photography and we also own a caravan and we use that as a hot, like we let that out as a holiday let and they're the jobs that I have. So I'm not like employed by anyone, but I still would count myself as working. Working is a very big topic in the autistic world and just in the world in general, I know, but it's a very big topic of conversation. And to my holistic folks, my neurotypical people who are watching this, I still work, I just don't work for someone. And for my autistic people, I very much struggle with working and if you do, you're not alone. Don't feel guilty for not being able to work. Why does my hair look greasy already? I don't know if this colour, because it's a slightly different colour, it just makes my hair look greasier. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, don't feel bad if you struggle with working as well. But anyway, I'm going to do some of my work. This tends to be the time that I do my work, like I don't really like doing my work in the morning, I save that for the gym and then if I'm having a day off the gym I have that time just to kind of like prepare myself and get ready to do work. So it's the afternoon and the night time where I do my tasks and stuff so I'm gonna do some work and I'll catch up with you later. Just checking in that I have finished one part of my work and I'm having a TikTok break, as you do. I finished the TikTok break I'm gonna, and I'm going to go back to work. I've had a phone call off Jack saying he's been to B&M. I can guarantee you he's coming back with some kind of plant. Jack's not going somewhere that sells plants and he and not coming back with some sort of plant. He is the he is the king of little treats from gardening centres and places that just sell gardening stuff. I just don't know how many plants he's going to come back with, but I can, get, I can bet you there'll be a plant. I was wrong. He didn't come back with a plant. Do you want to tell them what happened? So, there was this big olive tree that was like over six foot. A B&M. A and m And on the label, it had £25. And I know from like seeing like influencers online and just like seeing olive trees everywhere else, that they're dead expensive, only like 150, 200 quid. So I thought, oh, incredible. And a few of the lower branches like on the tree were like damaged. Like snapped probably from the wind, and then being them half the plants were like toppled over. Anyway. Dead. <laughs> I thought okay maybe they just reduced it because it's damaged, and then um, I got the tail and just scanned it. Just said that doesn't seem right. So I know the artificial ones are twenty five pound, but I'm sure they're like one hundred and fifty quid. And I was like, okay, um, I just thought because it was damaged that it'd been reduced or something like that. So she got like the garden centre guy to come over. He came over and he, he said, no, they're 100 quid. He says, you might get a tenner off because it's damaged. But, um, yeah, so 25 pounds wrong label has been put on that. And it wasn't even, like, the wrong proper label. It was, like, the actual label for the tree was on because it said, like, olive tree. Mm. But the sticker that was stuck to the to the care label mm -hmm. was the, just for the wrong plant. It just said foliage. Aww. So, um, she was like, you can have for 90 quid. And I was like... It's all right, I was excited because it was 25 quid. <laughs> so, no. Yeah, you're sad because you haven't got your olive tree. Aww. I'm sorry. I think it's I think it's bad if it was labelled as 25. But never mind. You got your soil. Yeah, I so. What's your plan now? I think when, I, when it's not raining, I think when I... Um, oh, has it stopped? It stopped, yeah, for a bit. I think when I um, go plant some seeds. In the Which seeds are you planting now? Like the veg ones. Which um, ones? I don't know. Broccoli. Oh my god, in the shot is that clump of hair. <laughs> I was cleaning my hairbrush this morning. Just that away, leave it. 
uh, broccoli, bok choy, spinach, uh, pumpkin of flour with the onion. I mean, I can, I can start the ranunculus. The what? Flowers. The flowers. If we, I don't think we've shown you planters. No. I don't think so. Uh, I'll let you go out because I'm working still. You'll yeah. have to show them. They're dead pretty. Awesome. So that's your plan. Yeah. A tri permaculture. Which is just basically where you don't like plant them in like neat rows. Like you plant them like with companion plants that keep weight bugs and stuff like that. Right. So I know which ones I need to plant where. Excite. I'm outside because Jack needs my help so I thought I'd come and show you so obviously you guys if you are subscribed you'll have seen the ready in the garden video so we said we were, Jack had to finish his planters and stuff and he has finished is this finished well obviously we can I'm out here to move them but <sighs> yeah this is it isn't it so cute Jack's done such a good job with the arch it looks so cute can you explain the arch like where it's going to be well, no, I'm about to. Oh, I thought you meant like what we're doing with it. But basically, our, this is our kitchen window and I thought it would be cuter if the arch faced the window because at the minute when you look out, you can just see the side of it. So I thought it would be cuter if it was turned around. So that's what we're doing now. And he's having to undrill it though because it's going to snap if we move it. My clip showing everyone what it looked like uh, apparently didn't film, so I've come to show people. Oh, right, okay. How's it going? Alright. What's the spanners? It looks so cute. Do you love it? Yeah. It's very cute. It's ten past seven now. Yeah. Should we walk him? Where, how far away are you from being done? I need to string out those ones and then that's pretty much it. Right, okay. So we'll walk him after? Right, okay. I think I'm done work now. Okay. So. Cool. Do you want a stable gun? No, thank you. I'm okay. It's very windy outside, so the hair is going up, but my scalp is still too sore for a claw clip, so it's being just shoved up in a scrunchie. We're just doing a little one, right? Mm -hmm. Like when I say it's windy, I mean it's windy. <laughs> Jack convinced me not to wear a coat. I don't, oh, typical, now it's bloody dropped. Fuming. <laughs> just my look. It's very, very, can you confirm? It's windy. Look, yeah, four heads out, that's how windy it is. <laughs> oh, I've still got my hair up. Hang on. Right, it's quite a bit later. We have been trying to decide what we're doing for Taylor Swift, because I have tickets to the Eras Tour in Edinburgh, and we're just, the plan that I've been saying for, for months is that we were gonna get a camper van, and we were gonna drive up and then like that's what we're doing because obviously the airbnbs and hotels ridiculous like ridiculous well there was a few in edinburgh but there were 300 a night weren't there oh yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah and it was like someone's room but anyway that's not an option so like we do a camper van but now we've just we've been trying to figure out whether we want to do a camper van or just drive up and down because we're Northumberland so it would t it takes with no traffic it takes only two hours to get to edinburgh but obviously Taylor Swift, so there's going to be a lot of traffic. Like three, three and a half hours probably. Probably. So we're thinking, like that's what we've been sitting trying to decide because obviously the camper van 
it still costs money. It's cheaper than going to a hotel, but it still costs money. And then it's trying to figure out what days to get the camper van and then finding a camper van that we liked and things like that. But have we made a decision? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't like committing. I don't like being like, okay, let's do that. But it's only two months away. Well, less than two months away. I know. And the, the, the thing with the camper van is obviously you've got to stay somewhere. I know in like on tiktok and stuff in camper vans it's like i oh, will just stay in a car park you can't do that in the uk like you get moved along you can't overnight stay in car parks so and like a, a lot of the, the campsites or the, the motorhome sites we've looked at are filling up oh filling up they've said that like they've only got one space left yeah like the one that we're on looking at nights. only got three well, sites only got, overall yeah one site left two sites left yeah so we need we need to book it really mm -hmm. but it's just I don't like committing to it. And we also don't know about bringing Oakley. I think we are going to bring Oakley, but then that means you can't come in and get me mm -hmm. if I freak out or have a... Because obviously, with my autism, this is huge. Like, this is a big thing. And I am quite independent. I'm quite capable. But the, it's the get... Because we're going to... The only campsites we can get are, like, quite a bit way out of Edinburgh. So the one we're looking at is, like... It's five miles out, I think it said. Was it five miles? Yeah. Well, it's like a 20 minute drive, so 10 mile, yeah, uh -huh. so I'd have to try and figure out a way of getting out of Edinburgh because obviously Jack can't drive the camper van into Edinburgh at peak Taylor Swift time, so I'd have to figure out how to get out of Edinburgh for then Jack to come get me, and then, and like we thought, if I if I'm struggling, Jack could come in Edinburgh and help me get out, but if we've got Oakley... We can't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we'd really like to take Oakley because it's a three night minimum on the van that we're looking at. So we'll make a little bit of like a trip of it. And we've wanted to do this for ages anyway. Yeah. Like that's why I've been so like, that's what we'll do because we've wanted to hire a camper van for so long. So we want to make a bit of a trip of it. So we'd really like to take Oakley. And we can't make a decision later on it because you've got to pay extra for a dog. Oh. We could, I mean, we could book without the dog extra and then just ring them, them and say, look, we want to bring my dog, can we just pay you 20 quid? Yeah, uh -huh, no, we could. But anyway, that's what we've been up to. We have just ordered an Indian, and I'm so excited for it. Jack didn't want to cook. And we, we said earlier today, didn't we? Well, I will get a takeaway there. Yeah. So we've just ordered that, and that's going to be ready in like 10 minutes. So, yeah, we're probably going to talk about this until until then. We have booked the camper van. We haven't booked the pitch yet because we need to figure out what we're doing because we thought on the because we've booked it for three nights we thought maybe on the third night we could actually book why is it so blue the white balance was just having my life uh we thought maybe on the third night we could actually come and stay somewhere close at northumberland because the drop-off time for the van is half 12 so if we wanted to get back from edinburgh for half 12 we'd probably have to leave it like nine-ish but i'm not sure because i think i'd probably like to stay up there for longer but anyway the food jack has just been for the food i don't know where it is but yeah so we we booked the van we just need to sort the pitch gonna have some food we started fallout last night which we only watched one episode because the first episode is like an hour and 15 minutes long but we'll be watching that with tea this is very much a standard day i'm glad that it came out that way it's normally like gym lunch i work until like seven o'clock jack normally goes to the gym after work but obviously he's just been doing his own thing today i normally work till like seven half seven then no hang on normally it's gym work walk him at some point between five and seven now that the light nights are here it's normally like seven around like not that exact time but like just whenever i get finished work then tea and whilst we're having tea we watch tv and then normally we just watch tv till we go to bed tonight we'll probably be sorting the campsite but i'm very pleased it's a very typical day but we're gonna be watching fallout we jack's played fallout 4 i play fallout shelter which is a mobile game but i freaking love that game so we know the law behind fallout like we're not like going in with, with no knowledge we have some knowledge, obviously not the most knowledge because we haven't played any of the original three games at any of the spin-offs, but we have some lore of Fallout. Yeah. Sort the food, watch Fallout. We have the food that is chicken tikka off the bone with rice and obviously all of the spiced yogurt and then crumpled poppadoms. If you don't crumple poppadoms into your food, it's, 
it's nice. Tr give it a try. Jack doesn't do it, but I, I rate it. It's so nice. It gives it a little crunch, and you've got layers to your meal. Beautiful. And then we've got the poppadoms and Pashwari Nan. Beautiful. I am having to do this with my left hand because I've been held captive. We have just watched one episode of Fallout and we're watching an episode of Merlin now because we've got to have a palate cleanser after. It's not a deep show, but I mean, it's, it's an about show. apocalypse. It's a new show. And it's an about apocalypse. Well, not an apocalypse. Well, and I struggle with them, so I need a palate cleanser. Uh, did you enjoy your tea? Oh, I'll wait. <laughs> did you enjoy my tea, your tea, my love? Yeah, it was good. I didn't yeah. eat loads of it because I was just feeling quite full, but mm. it was nice, what I had. Yeah. If you're local to the area, we go to Morpeth Tandoori. That's good, isn't it? If you're local to the area, you'll know it all. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. Can you tell them? Oh, he's such a baby. He's just a baby. He's just a baby. But even if you don't do any of that, thank you so much for watching and making it till the end. Do you want to say goodbye? Bye. I'm going to have to use Oakley's head to do the, like, hitting the camera thing. But, uh, bye. Say bye. <laughs>